All right, hey guys. So in this video, we're going to talk to you about how Ecamm Live has the ability for you to display your iPhone um, on the screen, and all you need is your Lightning cable plugged into your computer. So they now have direct integration in uh, with your iPhone, iPad, uh, that, that kind of stuff. And we're, we're going to show you so a little bit of tips and tricks on how you can successfully do this. All right. So uh, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at what it actually looks like uh, for you, the viewer. And then we're going to get into the program on, on how that works. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I can go ahead and share my my screen here that is on my phone so you can sort of see it right there and boom now it's should be right there on your uh, your screen that you're seeing right and it's very fluid you know I'm flipping right through it and uh, I know I've done a video uh, on this where uh, I'm trying to play like Mario Run and it just doesn't work on the air server so uh, with this one it it fully fully works you know I can I can go ahead and tap and and play a game uh, and it's actually being shown right there on the screen there for you all right now one of the the, the downsides of this right now is uh, and again uh, at the time of this video there's no audio associated with it all right but uh, you know again very very easy to to use and and show everything's very fluid there's not uh, not a, that noticeable of a delay uh, when you're when you're doing this so um, again so pretty pretty neat right now you, you are able to do uh, picture in picture uh, so I can show you what that looks like here so I can add that to the side here I can add it to wh wherever I'm wanting and you, you can see that it, you know nice little picture in picture right um, the the other thing on here is uh, I mean you are able to uh, to take off picture in picture and it's very similar to this uh, you are able to crop it uh, so it looks something like this okay but you're losing uh, a lot of screen real estate as you can see I'm I'm back to the home screen and it's like zoomed right in there okay so that is that is one thing to consider when you're when you're doing this okay all right so let's go ahead and get into the uh, the nitty-gritty of this oh um, one thing that uh, I, I did want to show you here as well I'm, I'm this is as far as right as I can I can push this uh, so you do have uh, a little layer spacing uh, right there to the right okay so anyways let's go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, live demo mode so that way you can see my entire screen and exactly what I am seeing as well okay so whenever you uh, whenever you have a, a scene set up and you have your you have your phone plugged in you uh, you're gonna see the switcher down here okay um, you can toggle in between it now you can see that's what that's what I'm doing doing right now right I'm toggling in between the the cameras because it shows up as a camera source right so there it is iPhone X okay so uh, you can do that uh, over here is the picture in picture mode so uh, with uh, you know with me selected as the the main source uh, you click on the plus button and boom now it shows up now you can see this faint little gray line on here uh, again that is uh, the little boundary border and stuff some folks are uh, not complaining but uh, ha you know having an issue with um, they're not setting this up into tall mode meaning that if I go to uh, options picture and picture shape uh, they're typically stuck with this and like hey is there any way I can uh, slide this further to the right uh, well you're gonna have to change change that um, all right so there's where you change it it was picture shape and then you can go ahead and change it to tall and then you are able to uh, resize it just like you are a normal picture in picture okay so th that's how you that's how you get around that portion uh, as far as that goes okay so uh, pretty pretty neat so far on on what I've done with the testing and stuff so that is the picture in picture uh, what I was showing you before which was the uh, without picture in picture show so I'm just going to untoggle this and you can see that since both cameras are now active, uh, you know you see them split side by side. Okay, 
um, you know, to, to get that, you know, you hold the shift button down and you can click on it. Okay, so click on those little camera switchers. Uh, the crop mode, that's what I showed you earlier. You can see that, hey, it does look nice, but, you know, this part right here is kind of, I mean, you're getting everything chopped, chopped off. Okay, uh, that's all part of the crop. Okay, but uh, but yeah, hopefully hopefully you guys got something out of this. Um, uh, another another thing that uh, I will tell you is that when I was originally plugging in this phone into my computer, uh, eCam wasn't recognizing it. But it wasn't an eCam issue. Um, it was because I was plugging it into a hub, I believe. And because if I plugged it directly into the USB port on my computer, uh, it recognized it not only uh, in Ecamm, but iTunes as well. Uh, so iTunes was not even recognizing it when I was plugging it into the hub. So how can I expect uh, you know, Ecamm Live to pick that up as well? So that was just one part of my, my troubleshooting tips that I had uh, with, with this. But again, no outside program is required for this to function. Uh, you can do it all with Ecamm. Uh, and plugged directly in via USB, which makes that nice. Uh, so that means your device is going to be charged as well um, with that. All right. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you check out uh, check out our other videos. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, the link will be down below as far as our other videos. Okay. So thanks for watching and take care.